I remember driving my first tractor from this farm here and going to my uncle's house. And, you know, I would have probably been in first grade at that point or kindergarten. So it's been a part of my blood, early age. It's a hard life and it's long hours, but it's something that uh, kind of grows on you and that you just learn that uh, you learn to love it. Yeah, it can be intense sometimes, but it's part of the joys of farming. <laughs> We are in Abilene, Kansas, and we farm corn, uh, wheat, milo, which is sorghum, and soybeans, and raise all the alfalfa for dairy hay and cattle hay, and we have cattle also. Jeff has been more the uh, intellectual. Uh, he's had the ability and he loves technology, and that suits me fine, because mm -hmm. if I have a problem on a combine or something like that, well, Jeff, get over here. Technology has allowed me to be a, a better farmer, but data has been, for me, the biggest struggle in agriculture. It's on a console somewhere that needs to be downloaded, and you have multiple consoles, multiple products, multiple channels, multiple machines. You have USB drives that are in that tractor or in that truck or in the drawer at home, and you don't remember which USB drive is what. So what growers find is, Various bits of information are stored in various places, various machines. One console has this, other console doesn't have that. One system works great in one piece of equipment, but it really doesn't contribute to the overall ecosystem. And what TAP does is pull all that information into one common platform that growers can analyze all the pieces, understand all the components of the puzzle, and that really gives them the direct insight that they need. It makes it easy to bring in yield data sensor data, satellite imagery, weather data, and process it automatically so they can focus on farming and easily implement these nitrogen recommendations or seeding recommendations that the agronomist wants to put together. It changes everything because I can access that data on whichever device I want. It allows me to farm more acres and use that same piece of equipment and get more use out of it and I can change population as I go through the field. And so there again, I'm not wasting seed and I'm making a better yield. And every time I bring the planter in the field, it shows up and it brings up that prescription and it's just there. We know where the field is based on its coordinates on the globe. So let's just do the grower and the agronomist a favor and place that information automatically where it belongs. And as I have employees that drive up for them to be able to have that file there on the console and just it's just there with that field. And also with auto steer, I can uh, allow my kids to do operations. When we had an auto turn on one of our swathers last year and my daughter was struggling, swathers are hard to steer. And I just told her, get on your AB line and don't touch the steering wheel and let the swather turn itself around and get going. And she was able to do that. Technology nowadays, I can see um, a growth and just knowing how the fields are doing and knowing the yields and knowing the moisture and having a better understanding about um, how much grain we're putting in the ground, how much we're investing in the ground. And that's definitely an advantage for the next generation of farmers to have access to that information. They can learn from my mistakes and maybe it makes life easier for them. I think that's really, I'm building this for the future generations. You're seeing sons and daughters gaining a knowledge of the farm that they would not have gained before. And that's where the value is in using TAP. <laughs>